Welcome to Good News in the Garden State for February 21st, 2020. Lent begins next week, so we have lots to discuss as we head into the holiest season of the year. In his weekly message, Bishop Stokes joins presiding Bishop Michael Curry in calling for Lent to be a time of repentance, prayer, and fasting in search of national unity in this time of strife. The sinful divisions and deep struggles we as a nation are currently experiencing confront us as Lent approaches, the bishop writes. They invite us to consider the part we each play. Read the rest in this week's electronic edition of Good News. Next week is Ash Wednesday, and as he's done in years past, Bishop Stokes will be at Trenton Transit Center for Ashes to Go, an annual event to take church to the streets. At more than 30 locations around the diocese, from street corners to train stations, pharmacies to college campuses, clergy and lay people will be among the people, offering ashes, blessings, prayers, and a moment of grace in the midst of our daily bustle. Follow the link on your screen to find a location near you. You can also check us out on Facebook on Ash Wednesday. I'll be running around the state to many Ashes to Go locations, broadcasting live to help you be part of the excitement. If you'd like to know more about Ashes to Go, we have an exclusive interview with the Reverend Emily Malott, Rector of Trinity Moorestown, who is one of the movement's leaders. That video is the second episode in our What is Lent series short videos to answer basic questions about Lent and the days that make it up. In addition to the Ashes to Go episode, we have a video explaining Pancake Day, or Shrove Tuesday, featuring clergy from around the diocese. Make sure you don't miss an episode by subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, simply click the diocesan seal to subscribe. It's right here. Lent is a time to adopt new practices toward closer discipleship to Jesus. So now is the time you may have been looking for to answer Bishop Stokes' challenge for all vestries, church committees, and church groups and ministries to spend part of each meeting dwelling in the Word. Follow the link on your screen to find resources for adding scriptural discussion to every meeting you hold. It's a great way to help your group stay focused on the reasons we do all of this as an outward display of our devotion to Christ's church. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies of liberty Lift every voice and sing is a song of faith, perseverance, and determination in the face of racial and social injustice. A defining hymn of the African-American community, it is the title hymn and an official hymnal for use in Episcopal churches. To commemorate the 120th anniversary of its publication on February 12, Bishop Stokes is challenging 120 congregations to perform the hymn in at least one of their services between now and February 23. When you do, please send us video or just let us know at the diocese. It would be a wonderful tribute to Black History Month, the bishop says, and I agree. Our annual diocesan convention is just two weeks away on March 7. It's the most important business meeting of the year for the diocese. If you are a delegate or an alternate from your church to the convention, you must register in advance. The registration deadline has been extended to February 26 to give everyone a chance, so please register right now at the link on your screen. And speaking of convention, we're seeking singers to join the choir during the morning Eucharist. We'll be singing John Stainer's God So Loved the World, a classic hymn that I really love. You can submit your name ahead of time. Just plan to be at rehearsal at 8.15 a.m. the morning of the convention at the Crown Plaza. If you're attending the convention, you can pre-order books, jewelry, and other items from the Trinity Cathedral Altar Guild shop and pick them up at the convention. See the electronic edition of Good News for ordering information. It's not too late for youth to join the diocese in its trip to Episcopal Youth Event this July in Maryland. It's a great event for high school-aged kids that only happens every three years, so this may be your only chance to be part of this life-changing event. Sign up at the link on your screen. 
As you can see, there's a lot going on in the Diocese of New Jersey. I know you don't want to miss any of it, so remember to like and follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And of course, subscribe to the Good News newsletter by following the link on your screen. And that's all for this week. Find us on Ash Wednesday for Ashes to Go, and we'll see you next week right here. God bless you.